How are we all doing tonight? I can't hear you. And do you love me? It's such a challenge to make a show that covers your whole adult life. And Prada Foundation specifically asked when I presented them with this idea of family, this new work, um, they said yes, and can you also show older work? So that was this challenge. I know. I know this isn't my home. I know that. But I, I want to pose. Mia, in a way that no one ever has before, kind of took on my whole performance archive, all the work, which none of it had been digitized, edited. In, in a lot of cases, it was restored to be able to be screened in this type of environment. The exhibition is designed, it's got two different levels. On the first level, you really enter into the space of this artist as a performer. Miranda's work over the last 30 years has always involved elements of performance. You watch the sort of development of an artist on stage by themselves doing a sort of one woman show using, you know, all of her sort of handmade technologies to starting to collaborate with people both behind the stage but also increasingly with, with the audience. I could have fit a broom between us. Or a scanner with the lid open. <laughs> and that really culminates the end of the first floor with New Society, which is also the title of the exhibition. And this is the first time that Miranda plays the role of the artist for a full two hours. Is it possible to have lights on the people? Right. <laughs> but now we cared most about the people whose parents we had met, the ones whose apartments we'd seen the ones we'd gone grocery shopping with. It was, never it was terribly romantic. As you come upstairs, the pace really slows down. The first work you see is Family, which is her latest work. Family, it stands for falling apart, meanwhile I love you. It was a time in my life kind of questioning, like, what are these family structures? Do they need to be the way they are, or can we fall, let them fall apart and the love continue? I guess for me, one way to investigate that is through my tools, which are my own body and kind of willingness to throw myself out there with strangers. I formed a research group of about seven strangers. This group would send me videos, and that seemed to me like this kind of new physical language where um, it's sort of sexual, but not in any familiar way. And now that I have it, it's very exciting to know that that piece will continue as people see the videos in the show and can send in their own videos and I can make new pieces and put them in the show. The other works on the second floor are similarly collaborative. I think of them often as portraits of strangers. Miranda's always inviting people into her work very consciously because she really believes that art is an opportunity to connect. I think consciously, as she gets sort of more well-known, she realizes that she can sort of ask more from audiences and that they're they're willing if they want. It's always, um, you know, voluntary, that no one's, no one's obliged to participate, but if they do, something really uh, special can happen. It's hard to be angry with no noise sometimes. It feels <laughs> a little fake, you know? Okay. Um, and, and also don't worry about not being angry enough, right? Okay. It's, you'll each have your own level of anger that's appropriate for you. My experience of myself is just like a brain with eyes looking around the body brings in a whole level of abstraction of things that can't be said or even necessarily thought, but that can be felt or told visually through this. And so that's a, a wonderful place for an artist. I feel like it's part of my job as an artist and a citizen to kind of ask back, like the technology is asking and wanting so much from us, and to ask things back and want them back and make it do what I'd like it to do. Final work at the end of the second floor is um, Learning to Love You More, and it's actually a reprisal of 
What was a website is still active, but is now in the collection of SFMOMA. It was a work that was originally made in collaboration with Harold Fletcher. For this exhibition, Miranda selected assignment number 43, which is to make an exhibition of the art in your parents' house. Miriam Goy was one of the people that responded to Miranda's call on Instagram. This part of the show is one of my favorite parts, this red part. When you think about the art you grew up with, whether it was art art or posters or knickknacks or religious iconography, you probably haven't thought of it as art. This assignment asks you to do that. Miriam was just the perfect collaborator for this because her mom really looks at things like a, a paper bag or a dishcloth and sees them as art. And these are all Miriam's kind of understanding of the work as a child and some reflection back upon it. When we were figuring out the order, parts of Miriam's life became clear to me. And I really almost started crying, like understanding the world that her mom had made for her. Um, it's, uh, it's like when you get to this part here, that's like a good zone. It's incredibly tender and it, it actually does what art should do.